that's no moon. Hello there, uh, and welcome to uh, to That's No Moon and Yavin Base pre worlds interview number whatever I've got up to now. Uh, today I'm joined with a man who, like when I spoke with Andy, uh, I'm used to just talking with him, not asking him all the questions, and then he answers me with something about, no, you're wrong, cockles, and says something else. Uh, so, young man, what is your name and where do you come from? Howdy all, my name's Ollie, and I am from the UK. Uh, and Ollie, why might people know who you are? Uh, so, um, I am one of the hosts for That's No Moon, a Star Wars Legion podcast. Um, for those of you across Europe who do listen to the show, uh, and I've also been playing um, a vast number of games um, across America, Europe, and England for the last couple of years. You play for fun? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never Don't heard of it. What, what's, what's that? Um... <laughs> So you, so safe to say, you're a competitive player. Uh, so you've been on the scene for a while. You've played the likes of Luke Cook and uh, uh, you know what, Lila and Andy and various others all around the world, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but have you settled on your list? So uh, the list has been settled on. Uh, um, I care to elaborate? So uh, it has taken a lot of practice and looking into the varying different metas that I'm expecting to see at Worlds. Um, obviously, I, I follow the competitive chat quite closely in the Legion Discord. Uh, I look at what lists people are putting in. Uh, I like to check all of the, you know, of a Sunday afternoon, I'll sit going through game uplink, looking at what tournaments have been going on that weekend, what's been performing well. Um, and then it's you know it's given me ideas to make some changes to potentially last year's list or potentially running something completely new. So um, I've got a good amount of practice in. Still got another ten, maybe eleven games to go um, before I arrive in America. Plus another obviously four in the Swiss event uh, before we start for the uh, for Legion Main. Yeah. So we have so time of recording is now Tuesday. We fly out. You fly out two weeks today. Two weeks. Uh, the, 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 this, this time in two weeks, I will be in America. Yes, in and, this, and for me it'll be and for me it'll be two weeks tomorrow. You uh, would you care to share what your list is, please? Uh, I'm going to keep that a little bit close to my chest at this at this point. You are aware uh, that this won't be revealed until the days of the actual event, so you're safe you, to do so. No, you didn't tell me that. No, I thought it was <laughs> good. Should, you, someone's been paying attention to the chat in there. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not mate <laughs> oh no this is so yes so you can share because this is not being published until uh everything is locked in Ah, right, well of course i shall share them so i am big shock to the system not running blizzard force <gasps> what I song am... will i sing for you now Ah, oh, who knows mate whatever whatever, <laughs> your, whatever your creative mind can think of uh i will actually be running shadow collective dun 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 uh, and I will be taking a leaf out of Evan Bulrus's book from a couple of years ago. Uh, and I have been having a little look at Fury Road. Uh, so my Fury Road is two Black Suns with Mag Dets, Frag Grenades, Vigos. Um, two Mag Suns with Shotguns, Vigos. Two Buses, both with Gonks, Medics, uh, Comms Jammers. One with the Raiding Party Leader. And then three Swoop Bikes. So playing a very, very similar deck to the one I played with Blizzard. Um, so the, the the play style suits me suits me very well. What's the bid, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, five point bid. So seventy five percent likely, probably more eighty five percent likely to have the have the potential for you to choose. Yeah, I think based on what I've been looking at, it's about eighty to eighty five percent of the time I'll get the bid. Uh, in the games that I don't get the bid, most of the time people have got one, maybe two missions that that I quite like. Um, and so it's fairly easy for me to at least get something. And again, I don't think there's a mission out there that the list can't perform at. Obviously, there's some that will be more difficult for me, but um, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the worst mission out there for me is probably intercept the transmissions against like Ewoks, uh, and that's and that and that and that's probably the worst thing I could I could get. But yep. even at that even at that point, I've probably got the guns to to still potentially do it. So you've kind of segued nicely into the next question. Your everyone has a style. Uh, some people like gun lines. Some people like tricks. 
what do you see as your style of play? What do you perform well in? And because we know your previous list was Blizzard Force. Before that was the Luke DLT stuff. Uh, what do you what do you lean well into, or what do you prefer to do as a style of play? So uh, four shoes and speeders are my style of play. So uh, keeping the sweet bikes in there. Obviously, I've been playing with four Empire bikes for a year, a uh, year and a bit. Three thousand um, games. Uh, with 500 it's it's around the 500 mark i i, I teeth it off on that's not to say blizzard will never return with me as i'm uh i'm sure it will it will return and have its place you can let but... it go <laughs> outrageous <laughs> um but yeah I, th- I think i think my play style is uh heavily objective based uh quite 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 defensive kg um and i'm fairly meticulous in in how I'll try and plan the the following turn. So it's it's all about working out when to do things. What do you think? Everyone has a weakness. Everyone's in terms of what they play against, or in terms of something they know they don't do very well uh, in reacting to or dealing with. What do you think your uh, Achilles' heel is? I think potentially volume of play. Um, I can burn myself out at cer- at certain points, and I think I've been doing. A hell of a lot of games in the lead up to Worlds, um, and then there'll be a lot of games the week of Worlds. Yep. Um, should I should should I make it through to the top eight, top four, maybe final? Um, you know, that's I'll have done what is it four, eight, not an eleven, thirteen games in three three days? No, four days. I mean, you're Which only playing. Win. Think think of myself, Zane, and and and, and Bushman as we're just we're talking all the time. You're only. Uh, playing. I- I will be joining you for some of that talking. Don't 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 you worry, my friend. I'm I'm still part of the podcast team. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your fondest in-game moment? Things that make you go, "Yep, that was that was fun. I enjoyed that," or a tricky thing that you did that caught everyone off guard. I, I think it's the performance I put in last year at Worlds. Um, you know, it's it, it's seeing well, like winning MKGT this year to win the to win the flights and the hotel, like. When you when when you take when 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 you try and play a game competitively and you pull out decent results, same as like when Austin Miller's done like three tournaments in a row. See like seeing your friends do like big results like that, fantastic. Um, Andy winning Birmingham to get his flights and hotel last year. So it's it's seeing the friends that you regularly practice with achieve high results. Um, and I think that's for for the competitive players out there. That's what we love to see. Yep, and uh, what would you? What moments in your games will you rue and go curse that or something like that? Ah, oh, it's dice, isn't it? If you're <laughs> if you're a war game, and they're like, oh, you, you, I mean, you can you, you can you can plan and plan and plan until the cows come home, but dice variants can always get you, good good or bad. Is there um, any particular? So- I'm not obviously I'm not fishing. I'm not fishing on purpose. But is there any particular ones that you sit there and go, that was that that stung? So when I lost to Andy in the quarterfinal of the World Open qualifier in at UK Games Expo for the Worlds for, for last year's Worlds, uh, I rolled four white and six red dice uh, with Luke. Uh, he had, I think it was five wounds left. No, sorry, he had six wounds left. All I had to get was a shield well, or two shields on ten dice. He rolled one shield and died. Ooh. Uh, from from Dooku swinging into him with a uh, with PS One, so that that stung a bit. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Um, I know. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's fun. Um, outside of the actual playing itself, what do you look back on? And go, that's fun. That's my favourite, or that's live, lives up here and in here. That sort of thing. It's all the socials, mate. Um, and obviously, like any event that I go to, I'll try and plan socials for. We had a we had, we had a great social out in Spain with a karaoke. Um, I've already begun my planning for the social out in Chicago. I've I found the nearest I found the nearest karaoke bar. I know what we're doing. I'll be getting everybody signed up for it. Um, and it's just it, it's meeting some of the you the more sort of further away players that you don't get to play with often. Um, you know, obviously Austin and I have a prank war that's been going on for yes, you do. You know, like six months now. I'm excited to see what's going to be happening at Worlds because I'm absolutely certain he's going to get me good, and I already know I've got him good. So <laughs> the fun part, the fun part in this is I know what you're doing, I know what he's doing, and I am saying nothing to either of you, which for me <laughs> makes it so much fun because I can just let chaos reign. Um, but I'm saying nothing for, for because I love you would, both. Would, I just want would, to see would, something would, fun. Would, would Would you say that we're both going at it at about the same level? I'm saying nothing because <laughs> I don't want to give either of you 
clause to go, yep, do more or do less or whatever. I'm saying zero to either of you. <laughs> Exciting. Like Lady Gaga, pa 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 poker face, that sort of thing. Um, but what you can, those outside of it, what I will do is I will be Instagramming the, the moment you two meet that both of you do your thing. I will be Instagramming that live for anyone interested to know what's going on. So you can go on uh, uh, That's No Moon Pod. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, go on Instagram, find, our, uh, find on Instagram, you can find us on that one. Um, moving on, who do you want to play against? Uh, what lists do you go, yep, got that in the bag, gimme, that sort of thing? Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme experimental droids all day, every day. Um, that's my... Uh, it's a fantastic matchup for me to play into. Um, I don't. I don't think I've necessarily got too many bad matchups out there. There'll be some outlying lists that I can't have prepared for, but that's that, you know that that's the same for everybody. Yeah. I just have to hope that I avoid those. Tempest is 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 a bit of a struggle depending on the tables. If they are, if the tables are um, like really really open, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna struggle. But it's only against Tempest that if the tables are really open, I'm going to struggle. If the tables are really open against non-Tempest, I've got two buses. So if the tables don't have cover, bring your own. Bring your own that will eventually explode. Well, it might. Well, who knows? <laughs> gog, gog. Um, you said about what I was you, and you said about Tempest, making you nervous, that sort of thing. Uh, Individual-wise, um, in terms of players, uh, is there anyone you'd like to play against? Because either you've not played them before or you want a rematch. Or anyone you don't want to play for whatever reason, i.e. you play them too much. Uh, and so who do you want to play and who don't you want to play and why? I don't want to play anybody that I know on day one. That's fair. Um, because uh, I don't want to be knocked out or knock out anybody that I know. Because that it just feels bad. So I'd like to avoid all the English um, and several of the people that I've already played from America on day one after that it you know it's it's fair game and it is and it is yeah. what it is um in so yeah so i don't think there's anybody that i don't want to play um again except for in those categories i'd love to play austin again uh, we've got to have a rematch from last year as uh he's got to, he's got to beat me this time so that we're one one i know uh bushwax is doing his interview so i will you will use well you'll be too busy playing because these get published when they when we play um what was I going to say last one? Fun fact about you that people might not know. I sang for the Queen when I was 11 years old. Oh. Or, te or 10 years old, was it? It was, it was ten, 10 or 11. There you go. What did you sing? Oh, it was in a, it was in a choir. Oh, I was hoping it would be like Sex Pistols, God Save the Queen. That would have been more fun. Obviously, it wasn't. <laughs> No, no, that, would have been that would have been fun. <laughs> and right, uh, fine, last question. Um, do you have any local store or gaming club or individuals uh, that you would like to shout out and say uh, I, thank you or whatever that sort of thing? War, War Games Workshop in MK. It was the first store in the south of England when I moved down here that I started playing games at. So there, they got me back into Warhammer, which then led me to Legion. Um, and I dropped Warhammer for Legion because it's a, it's a much better game. Um, so, you know... Big shout out to that store and obviously to my play group who we've been relentlessly practicing with. So Jack, Sorry. Andy. Your play your play group, can I play with the ball, please? Uh no, you can't because you're not good enough. You know, it's like you know, it's like it's a big thanks to like Andy. Uh I've got games against like Christoph this evening on like TTS. So, you know, it's um it's just thanking everybody who's helped us get ready for worlds. Nice. Well, I shall say no more other than good luck. I look forward to yours and Austin's reunion. <laughs> that will be fun. Uh, no, but good luck for the rest of the whole, for the whole tournament. Uh, obviously you'll see, see me there. And um, the, the, the less be, the less be, the less that you're behind the mic, the better for you. Cause we're assuming you're doing well on that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, or I've lost incredibly fast, and I just well, commentating for the weekend. <laughs> two things can be true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Take care, buddy. No worries, mate. Enjoy. That's no moon.